Oh yeah, welcome to this week's Pieces and Event Show. Here on iSpeakForYou.net. You're listening to Finding Friday. You can find them all online. Good afternoon. How are you doing, ma'am? I am great. How are you? I'm doing awesome. We just got our new Wi-Fi system in the uh, in the studio here, and I'm hoping it's going to awesome. work. We're they're testing it as we're on the air, actually. So we're going to try to exciting. figure this out. So of course we've got an incredible event. It's going to be so so emotional. I've been trying to get there for five years. Uh, you guys have, <laughs> have put it on, and 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 every year it seems like my uh, it seems like my Schedule did not work out, but this year, thank God, it worked out because I've been wanting to do this forever. I'm so excited to have you. We've heard such great things about you. Oh, it's going to be so a blessing because what it is, folks, if everybody wants to know, it's the Superhero Dash. It's a 5K McAllister Park Saturday morning, uh, but it's for the Rape Crisis Center. We've got so many sponsors. So I've gotten to so tell us a little bit about what's going on this weekend. I am so excited for this weekend. We are doing our annual um, Run for Hope 5K, and this year we're inviting the community to come out and, and be a hero for the Rape Crisis Center because it's a, it's a community issue, but it takes individuals. And so we've themed everything. We've got capes and um, all these carnival games for the kids, uh, face painting and uh, sausage tacos, and it's going to be a great time to, to really show San Antonio that there is a support for people who have been affected by sexual violence. And, and- That uh, number fifty-seven is going to be running for. I told that to my wife last night, and uh, and and she was beside herself because everybody knows someone who's been a survivor of rape. I'll say, mm-hmm. uh, my aunt. I've got friends that I have. So this is really near and dear to my heart, and I know that the community is really coming out in force for this. And we want to get nine hundred and eleven runners because there were nine hundred and eleven survivors last year uh, that you've. that we help with the hospitals. We know there are so many more people out there who are affected by sexual violence who just didn't come through come through the hospital program. Um, and so we really want to, to match their strength because it takes so Um, it's it's an incredible event. Every runner is matched um, with a an age and a gender of someone who is with the hospital. So each one is individualized, and you'll see it on their race bib, and they get a certificate in their packet too. Well, they're still able to re- register. Uh, I believe tomorrow yeah. at Solar Sports at Jackson Keller. Is that correct? Yes, um, well, you can register online through tonight um, or come out and meet us at Jackson Keller for the packet pickup. All the information is on our website, which is www.rapecrisis.com. Um, it's it's going to be fantastic, and we can definitely register you that morning. If you see what beautiful day it is and you feel like coming out, um, we'll, we'll have everything right there for you as well. Because this is, this is really, like I said, it's truly a community event because we've all been affected by, by sexual abuse or, or rape or, or what have you. Uh, a lot of folks don't come out and, and, and acknowledge that. They won't come out and say, hey, this happened to me because of, of pride that they think they'll have. But really, the community will hug them and say, hey, we're here for you and we'll take care of you. And obviously, that's what you guys do on a daily basis. But this
much as we can. So we're really looking forward to showing San Antonio how much we care. That is so true. Again, folks, uh, it's going to be a superhero theme. So come in a superhero outfit Saturday morning, McAllister Park. Join us, the Run for Hope. Uh, the Rape Crisis Center really needs your help because, like we, we've, we've been saying, a lot of folks don't know uh, their best friend may have been maybe a survivor. They don't know. One of the greatest yeah. cyclists in the world, Greg LeMond, was sexually abused as a child, and he won the Tour de France three times. So even someone of that magnitude, you know, literally had to come out and go, look, this is what happened to me. There's folks out there right now that, that don't know, and they haven't told anybody, but, hey, we're a family in God's eyes. We're here to take care of each other. Absolutely. We've got 718 people. com they've got the link color solar sports or if you can't make it by the time the pack of pickups done tomorrow join us saturday morning obviously the race we're not going to start without you we're going to have a little festivities and everything before we've got uh as she was talking about we've got sasha's tacos grilled by saint jerome's men's club and kielbasa sausage we've got face painting cityscape photo ops we've got hoop jumps captain america shield toss uh we've got some incredible incredible sponsors such as valero i can go through the whole list lavish <laughs> obviously uh but come on out for rate crisis Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of iSpeakForYou.net, this is your USA Cycling Rule of the Week. We're going to be covering 1L1 starting time, which is under start of the race. Start of the race. to report at the appointed time and location for the start of the race. On behalf of iSpeakForYou.net, this has been your USA Cycling Rule of the Week. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the phone with Mr. Ed Bandis, race director of the Army Marathon. Hey, Ed, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing great, Mark. How are you? But it's uh, it's getting really exciting. Obviously, right now there's so many things coming to head. We're getting all of our shipments in of food, shirts, stuff, medals, all the fun stuff that happens for part of the race. But at the same time, I'm hearing more and more of some of the amazing stories from our runners, from the charities, and things like that. And it it 
it still makes me stop and really realize what it is that we're trying to do here. I mean, we're so far beyond just having a little old race and, you know, try to do something like that. And this is um, the charities involved, the people that we're helping. It's just a very moving story to tell. Yeah, because this this event, and we're just talking to Nicole, the Rape Crisis Crisis Center, who's putting on a run for uh, sexual survivors and stuff like that, or sexual uh, uh, victims this weekend. And uh, it's one of those things that it's a community event, and that's obviously what the Army Marathon is as well. It's not just for military, by military. It, it affects and it touches so many folks' lives. Oh, absolutely. I mean, when you think about it, a lot of the military charities that uh, our people are running for, we're helping raise money for, a lot of that money stays right here in Central Texas because Fort Hood is the largest military base in the country. So it can't help but stay here and affect our communities, which obviously is great for Central Texas, and it's great for Texas in general. Right. But even more important, when you talk about the two most pressing issues for the military guys right now, Number one, mental health. Number two, job transition. If we can't take care of our heroes that way, man, we're all in trouble, you know? Now, so. you you and I, we have to be as political as we can be because uh, <laughs> obviously what we do and, and everything, being retired veterans that we are, um, there's so many things on Facebook and on the Internet and everything saying that the government doesn't take care of our veterans, which I really don't want to get on our soapbox about, but really. For the Army Marathon, that's absolutely. There's a couple of sign up and run. The more people that run, the more money we have in excess to the charities themselves. Number two, if you sign up and run, sign up to run for one of the charities that are there and help raise a little bit of money for one that particularly catches your eye. That amplifies the effect for those guys. But you know, I think you said it best, Mark. You know. When I stop and think about it, on the one hand, I can say I'm a race director, and on the other hand, you know what, man, we're taking care of our heroes, mm -hmm. and that's the number one mission. In fact, I was talking to one of my volunteers today about that. This is beyond the Army Marathon. This is the mission, and, and I just look at some of the things that come in, like the registrations when people are running in honor of a loved one or something like that. Take a look at our... You know, I was talking to God. So I'll speak for you, and then that's where I speak for you came from. So it's one of those things. Like, where did you get this calling to take care of your your fellow man and and sister? Well, you're exactly right, Mark. I mean, everybody has their why of why they do things, and if that why is strong enough, man, you can do anything. In our case, it was four of us sitting around having a hamburger at a golf tournament. And probably a couple of beers involved, too. Right. <laughs> and and uh, we were talking about, you know, we should do some kind of fundraiser to help some of the smaller charities that where we can make a difference. Because, you know, Wounded Warrior Program, great program, but they're so big, there's nothing I could do that will really affect them. Right. But there's a lot of great small ones, and even some based right here in Central Texas, where we can move the needle on their gas gauge. And so we all kind of huddled up and said, okay, what are we going to do? We thought about it. And at the time, we 
run the Marine Corps Marathon in Washington. This is back in 2011. And it was my son who said, Dad, why don't you do the Army Marathon? And after doing a little bit of Googling, you realize there is no such thing as the Army Marathon. Guess now, And that was exactly how it came about. And the more people said, well, you know, that's kind of tough to do. And, you know, the more belligerent I became and said, no, we're going to do this. <laughs> and so just, just dare me not to do this. <laughs> so right. that's, uh, that's kind of how we take it. We took the whole thing on and just... When the cause is righteous, it kind of takes on a, a life of its own. So, you know, it's a great venue, point-to-point marathon, lots of enthusiasm, but the cause is even bigger. You know, there's a lot of great races out there, but this cause is, is personally near and dear to me. So true, so true, my friend. So, obviously, folks, you can go online to the armymarathon.com, find out more information, volunteer, help out at the Pack a Pickup on Saturday. So many charities and so many families are going to be helped out by this incredible run. Uh, again, it's not just 26.2 marathon. There's a five clicks as well. You can you can do it. Hang out at the finish line. With- And we'll be right back. We're going to play some commercials to pay the bills. Thursday's Races and Events is presented by eDragonTees.com, the premier company for your T-shirts, your banners, hats, flyers, embroidery, web design, and yes, even your koozies for your beverages. Online at eDragonTees.com. That's eDragonTees.com. At Come On Home, CyclingSwami.com, professional bike fits, custom footbeds, group rides, events, custom cycling clothing by Passe, your Italian cycling outfitter from helmets and sunglasses by Solis, get your SAG support for your next team or group ride, and the world famous Ask Swami. Look for a coach, look no further, easy to find, and even a greater friend to our cycling family. Come on home to CyclingSwami.com. Treat your infra treat. I've got the lady who is blazing the Texas roads so far this season from Hot Wheels Racing, Miss Mandy Heinz. As the crowd goes crazy in the studio, <laughs> the thousands and thousands here. Okay, is this me? But that's all right. So uh, obviously. Four big wins for Hot Wheels Racing. Uh, obviously, this weekend at Iris Stagner. Breakaway on Saturday. I love the video of you and uh, Kat doing a great job. And then uh, and then on Sunday, obviously, you and teammate Catherine uh, in a break with Kat Hunter and then uh, just demolishing the field. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's, it's great. It's, it's all smiles over here to see this team come together. And knowing that our hard work is really, really paying off. So it's, you know, you, you think that everybody's training and you hope that everybody's training hard and doing the right thing. But to see it all come into action, it's, it's fun. It's fun. So. Obviously a big, big test this weekend at Pace Bend. Uh, man, we're going to have some fun out there. I mean, it's one of those things they're like, hey, Marco, if you're not announcing, come out and volunteer. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no.
net together, 45 women showing up to a race. And the season, you know, like Texas is, we have races every single week. So it's To good friends of ours, obviously in the women's four field that wrecked, um, uh, yes. bad bad wreck on on Sunday, and uh, our hearts and prayers go out to them. I'm glad to see that everybody's up, everybody's walking around, everybody's moving, and uh, and obviously you know we we as competitors we're out there to to basically make sure that our competitive people that we're racing against. Their legs are hurting, but we don't want anybody to go down. We don't want anybody to get Never. hurt, and that's that's one of those things. Like, um, I mean, I've been in races where I've seen wrecks go down, and I actually stop to help out and everything. And I've seen, um, I've seen Jen uh, Jen McCray do that as well at a race a couple of years ago. Um, and it's one of those things. Like, we're competitors, but we're also family in this, and we don't want anybody hurt. Never, never. I mean. I think women's side of cycling is a little bit different. I mean, we're kind of more nurture characters and creatures. And when we see something happen, it it touches home because most of them are moms and partners' lives. And we bike race for fun. It's our second hobby or third hobby for some. uh, And we know we are putting ourselves out there um, potentially crashing. And we, we always care that we doesn't doesn't occur but when it does it hurts even more because there's so many people involved and we might race for different teams but in the grand scheme of things we all are family and we all are out there trying to line you can use the whole road it's a great uh classic course it's 6.2 mile around uh i mean obviously we've had eric kyden we've had a lot of olympians and world champions come over here and race this course uh in years past but what are you looking forward to the most for i'm really looking forward to racing against more numbers of girls and again we are still learning how to race together um we've been former competitors and we responded extremely well with each other last uh, weekend and We didn't have to sacrifice each other to leave one out. We knew we had.
And uh, and obviously, you think we're going to be in the feed zone, hooting and hollering, and I'm going to put up a speaker and, and piss off the officials. I'll do my own announcing down there. And have some fun, obviously, down in the feed zone to make sure you Thirteen and fourteen June twenty fourteen. That's right, the Crossman, Texas's only world class drum corps, representing San Antonio, Texas, to the world.
Riding around for the time that they're supposed to, and then the last five minutes is the race. There's actually breakaways and team tactics and strategies that they have put in place. And uh, the
readily by people that love cycling and it's really high quality. But they do about five big events, including Live Strong, the MS 150, and I believe Mama Jamma. Uh, you know, just. The nutrients package. Folks, before we sign off,
SAG support for your next team or group ride, and the world-famous Ask Swami. Look for our coach, look no further, easy to find, and even a greater friend to our cycling family. Come on home to CyclingSwami.com. The premier company for your t-shirts, your banners, hats, flyers, embroidery, web design, and yes, even your koozies for your beverages. Online at eDragonTees.com. That's eDragonTees.com. <laughs> 